Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn website and I am very excited to inform you that in Quick Learn I have recently launched my website that is www.quick-learn.in This website is especially for all the engineering and diploma students and those students who will be preparing for competitive exams. Or for latest update, please join my telegram channel. The link of my telegram channel I will give in my description box. So stay continue and keep watching and keep visiting my website. Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn tutorial series. In this video, I will explain you difference between natural commutation and force commutation. This is lecture number 43 of power electronic series. So let's start with the topic. Before I discuss the difference between natural commutation and force commutation, first I will give a brief introduction of commutation. Commutation is basically a process of turn of the device or we can say that the technique of turning of device is called commutation. In terms of SCR, we can say that commutation is a process of turning of the SCR or we can say that the other definition is the process by which the SCR is turned off from its turn on state is also called commutation. So simply we can say that the turning off process of any device is called commutation. So these are the simple definitions of commutation. Now there are basically two type of SCR commutation. First is natural commutation and second is force commutation. Now first is natural commutation. Natural commutation is also called line commutation. As the name suggested, in natural commutation, the device is turn off naturally or device is turn off itself. That commutation is called natural commutation. Or we can say that in natural commutation, we give AC supply at the input side. So when the reverse bias voltage appear across the device, device is turn off naturally. Or we can say that AC supply is responsible for natural commutation. So this is the simple definition of natural commutation. Natural commutation is also called self commutation where device is self commuted when reverse bias voltage appear across the device. Now this procedure of natural commutation I will explain with the help of this diagram. Uh, this is the simple diagram of single phase half bridge rectifier circuit. Here we give AC input supply at the input side. Here we use one diode and this is load resistance RL. Now during the positive half cycle of AC input supply, the anode of the diode is positive with respect to cathode and diode start conducting. When diode conducting, it behaves like a closed switch. So current flow in this direction and the output current across load is equal to the supply current. This time output voltage also equals to the supply voltage Vs. Okay. Now here we see uh, this is the input voltage waveform Vm sin omega t. During the positive half cycle of supply voltage means omega t is equals to 0 to pi. Diode is conducting and output voltage and output current across load is equal to the supply voltage or supply current. Because of the resistive load, the output voltage and output current waveform is same. Now what happened during the negative half cycle? When negative half cycle will appear, the diode is turned off naturally. This turn off process is called natural commutation because this diode is turned off because of the reverse bias voltage appear across the diode. So the diode anode is negative with respect to cathode this time and diode behave like an open switch. Due to this open switch, there is no current flow across the load and no voltage will appear across the load side. So here we see during the negative half cycle, omega t is equals to pi by 2 pi. Output voltage is also zero and output current is also zero because diode is naturally turned off. So this commutation is called natural commutation. When reverse bias voltage is appear across the device, the device is automatically turned off. That process of commutation is called natural commutation. Now next is force commutation. As the name suggested, in case of force commutation, we forcefully turn off any device with the help of external circuitry. This external circuitry is called commutation circuitry. 
course computation will be required when we give dc supply at the input side and when we give dc supply at the input side the device is not turn off naturally so we required external circuit to turn off the device so that turn off procedure is called force commutation so this is the definition of force commutation there are basically five type of force commutation class a commutation class b class c class d or class e all this commutation i will explain in my coming videos now here i discuss the difference between natural commutation and force commutation uh, in case of natural commutation as i have already told we give ac supply at the input side in case of force commutation we provide dc voltage at the input side we know that when we apply ac supply during the negative half cycle of ac supply a reverse bias voltage will appear across the device and device get turn off naturally so that process is called natural commutation in case of force commutation force commutation is required when we give dc input supply so we know that dc input is constant dc voltage cannot change with respect to time so there is no reverse voltage appear across the device or device is not turn off naturally so in that case we forcefully turn off the device with the help of external components or external circuitry that process is called force commutation or that circuitry is called commutation circuit okay now next is second point is natural commutation does not use external component as i have already told the device is naturally turn off it not required any external component when reverse bias voltage appear across the device device is turn off naturally in case of force commutation we required external component or external circuitry to turn off the device third point is this kind of commutation it means natural commutation is used in ac voltage controller or controlled rectifier where force commutation is used in inverter or chopper because in case of inverter inverter is basically a dc to ac converter or chopper is a dc to dc converter so in both case dc voltage at we give at the input side so these two circuitry required force commutation now fourth point is thyristor will deactivated because of negative supply voltage as i have already told whenever negative supply voltage or reverse bias voltage appear across the scr device get turn off naturally in case of force commutation scr or thyristor will deactivate because of both the voltage and current now fifth point during commutation there is no loss of power in case of natural commutation there is no loss of power because this commutation is natural in case of force commutation power loss occur because we required external circuitry or forcefully we turn off any device now sixth is no cost natural commutation don't have any cost but force commutation we required external circuitry or external component to turn off the device so force commutation having significant cost so these are the difference between natural and force commutation hope you like the video for more interesting video please like subscribe and share my channel for notes please visit my website the link of the website i will give in my description box and display here also www.quick-learn.in